Are you fired up? Fire it up, cool. ready to go. All right. What's going on there, YouTube world? Austin Lewis here coming to you guys with the man, the myth, the legend. If you guys are inside of ATM Mastery, chances are you guys have seen this legend. This is Carlos. He's actually one of the first ATM Mastery students that got started with us. No, I'm not here to pitch you guys ATM Mastery, uh, which happens to be our course. If you guys are interested, links in the description below. But anyways, jumping back to the video, uh, this guy is a wonderful husband. How many kids do you have? I have two kids. Kids. Two kids. He's a locksmith in San Diego, California. Look at that beautiful San Diego. That's where we'll pop a little San Diego picture up there. You know, I, I'm excited to do this video. And, and the reason I'm excited to do this video is because, you know, sitting next to me drove all the way from California uh, in this quarantine season and staying very quarantined himself. You know, we're gonna be able to drop a lot of value and knowledge for those of you that are like, man, uh, what is it like to go from zero to hero? And that's exactly what Carlos has done. Just to give you guys a little background or a little bit history right Carlos he got started in ATM mastery what was it back in December yeah December end of December and yeah. end of December uh, beginning of January we'll just say that we finished our course and then you know went on to the workshop program uh, right. took it a little bit more seriously and, and at that time uh, he actually got his first ATM location which happened to be inside of a barbershop this barbershop was an all-cash barbershop it's actually located here in Phoenix I just want to kind of dive in with Carlos ask him some questions uh, right now he you're at what four ATMs four ATMs four yeah. ATMs now he came here to pick up another one uh, which is truly incredible and I'm excited for this so thanks for coming on the show bro. yeah thanks for having me yeah absolutely and technically I actually had five ATMs but I saw that video yeah. of like the benefits of selling you know after you get one landed and I took that opportunity so Four now, but <laughs> cool. Could have had five. Could have had, had five. five. <laughs> uh, Could have had five, but took the opportunity to wholesale a ATM contract, actually to us, to benefit himself and, and give him a little bit more cash flow. Because uh, again, that's the beautiful part about the ATM business. Is there's just so many ways. It's so lucrative to earn so much money, so many different ways, other than just doing the surcharge. Guys, Carlos here. I don't want to do any more talking. I, I want you guys to hear from the man, the myth, the legend here. So I actually have a couple of questions that I'm going to ask Carlos, and Carlos has no idea what I, I'm what I'm I'm going to ask him, which is going to make this even more uh, incredible and raw for you guys that are watching. So make sure and stay tuned to the end of the video. Before we even jump into the questions real quick though, make sure and go smash that like button. Make sure and go subscribe to your boy. Drop in the comment section below what you guys would like to see in future videos because you guys are the reason that we're continuously doing content. You guys are the reason I literally am roping Carlos into sitting down and doing a video with you guys. So you guys are going to appreciate what this guy says. Normal average guy. Normal average guy, nine to five, Monday through Friday, husband, father. So I guess what what really opened you up to the ATM business? You know, there's so many business ventures out there. There's, you know, Amazon FBA, there's Shopify, there's stock trading, there's, you know, flipping cars and, and a bunch of other things. What like attracted you to the ATM business essentially? Well, like you said, I saw the ATM business as a simple format. And after seeing your videos from when I first started to do my research on how to gain passive income, it all made sense. I mean, you know, the whole other ways of making passive income, its own wheelhouse. But uh, I mean, for me, what made sense was the ATM business with how you start to where you can potentially be. I just dove into it head first and we're going into like the fourth month, fourth month. of this year and like, Austin said four locations down. I know things are a little slow now, but who knows what the future can hold. So, you know, four short months literally has four ATMs. That's an ATM a month. Now, I guess this is going to be a good question that I have for uh, you, Carlos, and, and you're actually a, a good example of what can come about and what can show, right, in terms of the financial piece. I know a lot of people are like, Austin, I don't got a lot of money or I don't got a lot of cash flow. Here's what people do, uh, Carlos, is people uh, generate, when I post to the YouTube video the other day that said, hey, we're going to a thousand ATMs. People automatically resulted that into two and a half, two and a half million dollars worth of machinery. A thousand ATMs is, I think it might even be more than two and a half million dollars in, in machinery. And I don't know, it's whatever somebody does the math, maybe the smart girls behind us, a thousand ATMs times 2,500. Maybe I'll get lucky enough for some of them to show me their uh, screens. To, I'll exactly tell you how much money in machinery that that really is. Now, is that gonna happen? We'll see. I have a good, okay, so yeah, two and a half million dollars in machinery, thank you, Kodere, uh, from a thousand ATMs, right? I guess that we know people nowadays are like, holy smokes, you guys have a hundred ATM machines, hundred ATMs by $2,500, that's a quarter million dollars in hardware, which it is, right? right. And four ATMs is 
over $10,000 actually, matter of yeah. fact. People are like, oh, four ATMs, $10,000. Carlos, I don't have $10,000. Austin, I don't have $10,000. You're a normal average guy, and I don't say that to downgrade, I say that to almost inspire the people that are watching, that are right. gonna watch this. Anyone right? can do it. We'll post this in the, in the ATM Mastery group, so if you haven't already joined the free Facebook group, definitely go do that. You guys will be able to see this video and be a part of that community, but you know, how are you doing it? And share as much as you can. Yeah. Um, yeah. Being a normal average guy with above average goals and dreams, right? right? That's exactly how I started yeah. too. Um, not starting with a ton of money but being resourceful right I think right. a lot of people nowadays have more excuses than they have results yeah. um, and they don't have they don't access their resources and I think that's what you've done so you want to share the financial part with them yeah so basically you know before getting into the business you know I had a little bit of you know savings that I kind of had on the side when I first had the idea of how or what can I invest to make passive income um, so jumping into the ATM business learning what it takes and how to go about it um, I realized that I do need a little bit more getting a loan, you know, credit cards and stuff like that, knowing how the ATM business works to when you do land locations and how basically these locations can pay for paying back banks, paying back credit card companies. Like there's always a way you're not going to get rich quick in the beginning, but if you sacrifice that passive income in the beginning to pay back these loans in the long run, you're going to generate money that you know, that you didn't have. Just to paint the picture for you guys, you know, uh, the ATM business is no different than real estate, right? So for real estate, just to give you guys an idea, and this is why I love Carlos's story, because he's ultimately doing it right, right? You know, the, the ATM that he first purchased was X amount of dollars, and, and he needed to make X amount of dollars to be able to pay back that loan from the bank. But this ATM makes X amount more dollars than really what he needs to pay back the bank, so that happens to be the cash flow. But in turn, he already has an ATM rocking and rolling, the bank's paid for it, he's using OPM, other people's money, to essentially pay for an asset that he's gonna have that's gonna be a hard asset. It's just like real estate, rather it's, the, I know it's a downtime right now, right. but guess what? It's always gonna be worth money. And it's just like the stock market, it's just like the real estate market, the ATM business goes right back up, right? That's As the economy good. starts to boom, the ATMs continue to boom. So one thing I like to really paint the picture in is, you know, look at real estate, right? Uh, let's just say there's a $100,000 house. Okay. And us personally in, inside our portfolio, we have a couple of those. And, and let's just say you put down 20 or 30% uh, of that $100,000. So you put down 20,000 or $30,000. Now you're borrowing $70,000 uh, from the banks, right? That Cause you want this house, you're gonna have a mortgage. Now let's say your mortgage, just theoretically, I'm gonna do the math easy for you guys, even though this is not what it would be. Let's just say it was a thousand dollars a month paying back your mortgage. Now let's just say you brought in some renters at $1,300 a month, they are gonna, $1,000 of that is gonna pay towards the loan that you have, which is gonna go to the banks, obviously, which is gonna pay down the depreciation of the house. But then that excess $300 is gonna be what? Cash flow. It's right. gonna be money to, that you personally put back into your pocket. So that is exactly what Carlos has done with his ATM business, loaning that X amount of dollars to put X amount of ATMs out in the field to give him Y return that he's being able to pay off the banks. Now after all of the loans are paid off, this is, how, this is what it's gonna look and feel like. He's gonna have 100% cash flow. And he's at four ATMs, ladies and gentlemen, could be at five. I think five will come very shortly too, but now he's gonna have an asset that was paid for by OPM, other people's money, that is now generating him cash flow. And once he's paid that and he's taking his excess cash flow, whatever that minimum payment is on a monthly basis, after he pays that off, he's gonna have he's gonna see 100% cash flow. In the real estate in industry, we see years, and I'm talking decades, 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 before that even happens. Here in the ATM business, I know Carlos has one specific ATM that is an all cash barbershop that pays him anywhere from 600 to 800 dollars a month one ATM ladies and gentlemen if you took out a ten thousand dollar loan how many months would that be in order for you to pay back that loan kind of an insane thing yeah. so share with your goal share your goals Carlos I don't want to keep you too much longer but share your yeah. goals right you're at four ATMs right now it's April we're a couple months into the the new year of 2020 it's kind of been of a weird new year what are your goals uh, this year for the ATM business and then I want to hear like long term too I want you to share that with these viewers that are listening right now so being at four ATMs in April, honestly, I kind of surpassed my goals already. I going into this business, I 
ideally just told myself like, oh, this year I'm gonna get three ATM locations. You know, after getting my first one and, and getting my you know foot in the door of the ATM business, I was just like, wow, this is pretty cool. So it motivated me more um, and inspired um, myself to just put myself out there more, talk to business owners, you know, walk into any kind of business and just ask them the simple question, do you want an ATM in your location? Simple enough, right? And uh, just that drive, that motivation, because ultimately, if I can get 100, you know, 200, you know, the sky's the limit, right? It depends how much you want, you know, how much work you want to put into this business is yep. the result you're gonna eventually get. Being that I'm at four locations now, I mean, I'm just gonna keep going, see where, see how far I can take it, and you know, as long as I have that drive, that motivation, that's, that's pretty much where I'm at right now with that. Ladies and gentlemen, Carlos here. If you guys haven't already, make sure and go follow him. Shoot him a message on Instagram. Uh, he even has a Facebook. You guys can go check it out if you guys are inside the Facebook group. Uh, he is popping off in there all day, every day. And if you guys haven't already, make sure and go smash that like button. Make sure and go subscribe to your boy. Your boy is gaining anywhere from 10 to 20 subs a day. We're looking to do 30 to 50 a day. So let's make you let that make that happen happen, <laughs> uh, right? And uh, drop in the comment section below what you guys would like to see in future videos. Carlos, thank you for coming on the channel. And uh, we will uh, make some things happen, ladies and gentlemen. Austin Lewis here saying we'll see you guys in the next video.